This is Module 5, Lesson 1, Explore Volume by Building With and Counting Unit Cubes. We're starting with shading a square on centimeter grid paper with an area of four square units. This is going to be the foundation for our structure. We're going to place four cubes directly on top of that square. Think of the first four cubes as the ground floor of a building. We're going to make a second floor by putting another four cubes on top of them. We now have eight cubes. We did not change the ground floor, we just built on top of it. The second layer of cubes doesn't make it, doesn't make it take up more space on the ground. We built up, not out. Now we're going to put on one more layer of four. There are several ways to figure out what our total number of cubes are. We know we had 8 before, and we added 4 more, so there are 12. Or we know that each floor had 4 blocks. 3 times 4 would be 12. The total number of cubes is 12. Since this is a cube, with each edge measuring 1 centimeter, we call this a cubic centimeter. These cubes can serve as a unit to measure the volume of a solid, the amount of space it takes up. Again, this is a cubic centimeter. Just like we use squares to measure area in square units, we use cubes to measure volume in cubic units. In this next picture, we have two cubes, so we have two cubic centimeters. And if we were to ask what is the volume of these four units together, it would be four cubic centimeters. It has four cubic units in it. It's volume, four cubic centimeters. On this page, you see three different solids with a volume of four cubic centimeters. Four cubes on this one, four cubes here, and four cubes here. They are all solids with a volume of 4 cubic centimeters. We are going to build some other structures, but we want to draw what we build. Let's learn how to use isometric dot paper to draw our structures. We'll start by drawing a cube. First, connect four dots to make a rhombus. This will represent one face of the cube if it is viewed at an angle. Next, draw three straight lines to the right from the two vertices on the top and the one on the bottom right. Draw two segments to represent the missing edges. We have a cube. Now we're going to put two cubes next to each other. The first step is to connect four dots to make a rhombus. Add another rhombus that shares its right edge. So here's the four dots to make the rhombus. Add another rhombus that connects its right edge. Draw four straight segments to the right from the three vertices on the top and the one on the bottom. Draw three segments to represent the missing edges. Here I have built a structure with five cubes in it and I've shown you what it would look like if it were drawn on the isometric paper. In this lesson we have explored volume by building with and counting unit cubes.